it, you've got pole position. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. The Black Mamba, Russell and Lewis Hamilton. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. We're here in the coastal shores of Florida for the Miami Grand Prix, which has become the 11th Formula One track held in the United States. The grandstands are packed for what we hope is going to be another fantastic race. Sitting at the southeastern coast of Florida, the Miami International Autodrome has 19 corners and 3.36 miles of racing. It's a circuit designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standards. Either way, I'm sure it's one that will please the fans. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. The Black Mamba lines up on pole position, and starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Leclerc, Sainz, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Albon, Joe, Sonoda, Ocon, Gasly, Magnussen, Bottas, Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Holkenberg, and Logan Sargent. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And what would any Grand Prix weekend be without the one and only Anthony Davidson alongside me? As always, to talk you through the action. Let's talk about Black Mamba. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? I'm also looking forward to seeing the different strategies in play today. Those who are starting on the red mark soft tyre are going to have a little bit more grip early on, but they have to make it count before that degradation starts to set in. Right, mate, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but I want you to treat it like any other race. Let's not make...
DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. If you continue to cut corners, the stewards are going to give you a penalty. Be careful. Okay, we've been given a time penalty. It will go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Get your head down and let's get it done. Seven seconds. Easy on the aggression, we need clean overtakes or we'll get a penalty.
Ah, oh, fantastic drive. That's just fantastic. Amazing. You deserve that race win. Well done, mate. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. That's a positive result for George Russell, who further solidifies his position at the top of the standings. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the Black Mamba. Let's move on to the constructors. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One, so be sure to join us for the next one.